questions of doom. What? What? What's that doing there? <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to another Questions of Doom. Now, this series is all about trying to answer questions that you send my way using the rkosoup at gmail.com email address as displayed on the YouTube channel homepage, but as you'll also see at the end of this video. In answering these questions by video, it's my fond hope that the answer is not only useful to the person who's asked the question, but also anyone else out there who may be wondering the same thing. Now, today's question is all about, well, the formation of stratigraphy, the layers that build up over time and essentially hide archaeological sites. Essentially, the reason why archaeologists have to dig at all to get at ancient, for example, Roman villas, this kind of thing. A lot of you want to know how it happens. A lot of you want to know if it's still going on today. First of all, it's worthwhile remembering that stratigraphy is a natural formation process. Not only do bits of, for example, twigs and leaves fall on the floor and build up over time, but also often there are, for example, flooding events, especially in rural areas where maybe once or twice in a lifetime giant floods in urban environments. These contribute greatly to the layers that archaeologists have to dig through to get to ancient sites. One of the advantages, if you want to call it that, which archaeologists take for granted, is the fact that we often come to archaeological sites where these processes have had time to mature. Floodwaters have come and gone and left their mud behind. Buildings have collapsed. Nature has reclaimed sites. We see these processes at the end, and therefore the process itself, uh, I suppose, can be a little bit hard to believe. However, if you look closely, decay, natural detritus and other forms of bits and bobs, I suppose, being dropped on the floor are occurring all the time. And if left unchecked, these processes quickly build up to create their own micro-environments. Over time, the micro becomes the macro. Small pockets of soil here and there cover an entire site. Over the course of many lifetimes, sites such as Binchester Roman Fort become, well, if not forgotten, certainly a little harder to find. Of course, there's another key factor in the formation of stratigraphy. Now it's time to talk rubbish. In the past, it was worked stone, pottery, maybe even glass, which people left behind. But today, it's more likely to be, for example, chunks of plastic, maybe plastic bottles, perhaps even cigarette butts. Believe it or not, at the previous Archaeosoup Towers, I once came across a broken artefact outside the front door. It was actually a, a vinyl record. Now this fascinated me. I actually tracked it through the town as natural processes, the wind, footsteps, uh, presumably people just kicking it, moved it about half a mile away from our doorstep. This fragment of a record struck me as two things. First of all, archaeology in action, but also secondly, um, arguably an artefact outside of its proper time. C uh, currently, vinyl records aren't really something which we play every day. They certainly aren't something that we throw away. But this will be counted in, I suppose, the early 21st century's archaeological layers. This is how archaeology builds up and how these strange artefacts, in, the, uh, in a different sense, the strange anomalies of archaeology sometimes occur. You never know what you're going to get in stratigraphy. Now, imagine, if you will, that certain processes cease, i.e., well, I don't know, perhaps the street cleaners stop cleaning the streets. This is actually probably a fairly inevitable event. Archaeology tells us that time and time again, crucial functions of society do stop. Think about Rome, the streets of that great city, where people were once paid to keep the streets clean. One day, those processes ceased. This actually accelerated the process of stratigraphy. Stratigraphication. Is that a word? Hmm. Stratigraphy. Building up. In other words, it accelerated the archaeological record being formed. This is almost certainly going to happen one day here. And with that process will come a whole series of other processes speeding up. 
nature, for example, will have its day, and eventually this area will become an archaeological site. So it's important to bear in mind the concept of universality, where the natural processes, such as soil being formed, sticks being dropped, or indeed man-made processes, such as rubbish being deposited in various places, archaeology is constantly being formed as it was in the past. These processes work in tandem with so-called positive and negative archaeological features to create the archaeological record which we uncover when we excavate. For more about positive and negative archaeology, check out the clickable link at the end of this video, or search positive and negative archaeology on the Archaeosoup YouTube channel homepage. Now you may think that pavements and concrete will have a dramatic effect on this, but actually studies have shown that this sort of material quickly breaks down. Really, we're not going to be that archaeologically distinct from many other periods, except for perhaps the amount of broken up material that's left behind. So you see, archaeology is constantly being formed. What's this? Some sort of ritual figure? Hmm. <laughs> Hopefully this has gone some way to answering your question, and I suppose illustrating the processes which form stratigraphy. These processes have always happened throughout human history, and they are currently happening. They will continue to happen as human society progresses. It, it's, it's a process which can be a bit mysterious, sometimes incredibly dramatic in the events of catastrophic flooding, but a process which I completely understand why so many people find it difficult to believe that a whole city can be lost to time, lost to the sands, lost to soil, this kind of thing. It is a strange one, and uh, thank you so much for, to all of you, all of those people who have asked the question over the years about stratigraphy. Anyway guys, as ever, until next time, whatever you get up to, do take care. Bye bye.